Oh, he's in bits. I can just imagine what Linda's like and all. Well, that's what we're going to have to do, isn't it? What? Imagine, because she's not here. Mick told you she needs some headspace. What, and he don't? I don't get it. They get news like this, and the first thing she does is take herself off for a stroll. Don't jump on her back. We're all stressed about this. I'm not the one that went swanning off. She ain't swanned off. She just needs time. She just needs to get used to it. We both do. It's going to be fine. Honey wanted to send her back. First thing she said when they told us about Janet. Mm. Happens a lot, apparently. Loads of parents say the same thing according to the nurses. Mm. Some of them won't even have it that it's their kid. Can't be. So what changed? Or well, she ain't like that now. It's different for everyone, isn't it? Yeah, but for you and honey. I don't know. Couple of things, I suppose. No. Three things. Well, go on. Time. I mean, that's that's the easiest one. Well, so, so what? You just got used to it. No, it's 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 not about getting used to it. It's accepting it. It's the same thing, isn't it? I mean, time passes. You get used to something. You accept it. No. See, it's about giving up what you've got going on in here. Because everything that you wanted for and what you thought was going to happen, well, it ain't. There was this woman at the clinic, Daisy. She uh, she said it was um, about being wired different. That's all. Mm. There's no point wanting a, a, a red-headed kid if you had a blonde or a, a footballer if you had a ballet dancer. Some people are like that, you know. Take whatever gets thrown at them. Just sounds... I don't know. A bit bleak. It gets a lot more bleak if you don't. Me and Alan, we see him all the time. Parents of kids like Janet and... You used to see it in their eyes. They're still looking at them the same way they did when they was babies, and they're still thinking the same thing. They're not saying it out loud, but they're still asking the same questions. Why couldn't you be like all them others? Why did you have to be the one who's doing it? What's the third thing? What? Three things you said. You've only said two, and I still reckon one and two are the same. Well, you love them. That way, it doesn't matter what they're like, does it? Hey, little man. I've got something for you. I've been waiting for you to wake up. I know today's been strange. Everyone asking you things, and um, I've got some good news. Because you know them doctors that were asking you questions? They told us that you've got special power. And there's a special word for it. It's called autism. And it means that you get to wear this. Okay, now, very few little boys and girls get to wear this, so you have to promise me that every time you put it on, you remember how special you are. All right? Yeah? Good boy. Come here. I just want you to know that me and Mummy are so proud of you. 